only certain times when you can enroll in and make changes to the benefits offered by your employer. Basically, there are three times when you can enroll in benefits or make changes. When you are first hired, after a required waiting period, which is set by your employer, once a year during your company's annual enrollment. This is also called open enrollment. You can ask HR or your manager when this is for your company. Or when you have what is called a qualifying life event, like marriage or the birth of a child. So what exactly is a qualifying life event? Certain changes in your personal life qualify as an official change in status, according to the IRS, which means that you can modify your benefit selections between open enrollment periods. Examples of life events are changes in family status, such as getting married, divorced, legal separation, having a baby, adoption, placement for adoption, death of a dependent, or a change in child custody. In addition, a common qualifying life event is a change in employment status, such as a termination of employment, or a change in employment status from part-time to full-time or vice versa, assuming that changes in status affects your ability to participate in the benefits plan. You can also make a change to your benefits if your spouse or dependent has a qualifying event. For example, if your spouse or dependent loses a job, starts a new job, loses full-time status, goes through annual enrollment at work, or qualifies for a program like Medicare, then you are entitled to make changes to your benefits at work to ensure your family is covered. Once you have confirmed you have a qualified life event, you typically have 30 days from the date of the event to report it and make the desired changes to your benefits. So, to sum it up, you can make changes to your benefits when you're first hired, on your annual enrollment date, or within 30 days of a qualifying life event. Check with your HR department for a complete list of qualifying life events.